What is up, Biker Bros? This is Nathan from the Gen Z Biker Blog, and I'm here today with the beautiful Quinn Design Spitfire Nero Intelligent Helmet, or Smart Helmet, as many of you may think of this as. But big thank you to Quinn Design for sending me this helmet and giving me the opportunity to tell you guys my honest opinions on this helmet. They did send me this helmet free of charge, and I have had this helmet for about a month, and I'm so ready to show you guys what it's all about. The Spitfire Nero is the latest and greatest in the smart helmet world. It is dual homologated DOT ECE rated full face intermediate oval helmet weighing in at about 3.3 pounds which is extraordinarily lighter than my Shoei RF1200 which weighs 3.55 pounds not including my GoPro as well as my Cardo unit that I run on the side of it. This helmet costs $399 on Quinn Design's website and you can also potentially in the near future purchase it at your local motorcycle dealership. So for those interested in sizing when it comes to the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero, for my Shoei RF1200 I wear a medium, I also wear a medium in the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero. It is once again that intermediate oval shape. So now what do you get for that $400 price tag you might ask? Well to start you've got a polycarbonate outer shell. Inside of that outer shell is a conehead EPS liner with a hard foam outer shell and a soft foam inner shell. That is actually technology, believe it or not, that Bell Helmets uses as well. It is a great energy management technology that allows the helmet to absorb impact and disperse it throughout the rest of the helmet. Now covering that EPS liner is one of my favorite aspects of this helmet is, is the fully removable diamond stitched quilted interior. It looks like it's straight out of a Ferrari and it is just so freaking comfortable. When I look at this helmet and I wear it, I relate it to the memory foam pillow that is on my bed. Now moving away from the construction of the helmet, let's talk a little bit about the thing we all want to know. The technology that goes into this helmet. So first and foremost, you have Bluetooth technology. You can make phone calls using Hey Siri or Hey Google. You can listen to music, get GPS instructions through your GPS of choice. Even past that, the most amazing thing about this helmet is the fact that it helps allow the chances of survival after a motorcycle crash in that golden hour. They say that from the time that you go down in a motorcycle crash, it takes about an hour and a half for you to get to a hospital bed once the uh, emergency services have showed up. This helmet actually has what's called a Quinn Arc chip inside the helmet built into it that is going to, uh, by way of accelerometer, track how hard you're hitting the ground with how many G's, how fast you're moving, whether or not you tumble or you slide. It's going to track whether or not your body is moving at the end of a crash, after you've crashed, are you moving or not. And then it's going to send that information to the emergency contacts built into your Quinn app on your phone and then your emergency contacts can then decide, okay, do I need to send this information to the emergency services. It gives you a GPS location so then your family can come to you and hopefully get you the help that you need. The other neat feature that the Quinn Design helmets have is an SOS beacon. So you can actually tap that SOS beacon on the left hand side and then what it's going to do is actually send your live GPS location to your emergency contacts and allow them to give you a call as you're riding whether it's a road rage in incident or you get stuck in a big storm and you need help, you can notify those emergency contacts with the SOS beacon as well. And if you're looking to get some more information on the tech features built into this helmet, I will be doing a follow-up review specifically showing you guys how to use those technology features. So click the link above. Eventually I will have that video on the channel. So on the Spitfire Nero, you have four dual position multi-hole vents that actually seal with a rubber gasket providing you with a complete closure, making sure that no air is getting through those vents when you have them closed. So to start, you have two at the bottom sliding back and forth, and then you've got two at the top. Simply tap the back. The front of the vent opens up, really easy to open and close with big bulky gloves on. And to close them, you simply push down on the top and you've got a sealed helmet. 
Now on the back side of the helmet, we've got a couple different vents here, but what that does is it simply vents the air from the front of the helmet back over the top and out through the helmet. In regards to the visor on this helmet, we've got a couple different things going on here. So first and foremost, we have a full face visor, obviously. It's a multi-position visor. You've got four different positions as well as a latch that you can swipe up on in order to get a little bit of air cracked in there. So in order to open up that latch, you simply push this up and then that actually gives you a slight crack on the front left side of the helmet allowing just a tad bit of air in there if you're one of those people like me that likes to ride with the visor closed with some crack in there uh, to get airflow in that is a great option for you if you are looking to add a smoked visor onto here we do have a smoked visor um, in front of us here, you can check out Quinn Design's website to purchase one of those. There's going to be a link in the description below to this visor as well. But opening up the visor, you also do have an option for a drop-down sun visor. It is a smoke shield, so there's a latch on the side here. You simply swipe that up and that drops down a tinted smoked visor. Simply push that down again to bring that up. Now, many of you might be asking yourself or asking me, can you wear sunglasses or prescription glasses with the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero on? The answer is yes, you can. I do actually have thin framed metal uh, prescription glasses and I can fit those just fine. Um, but if you're simply looking to wear sunglasses, you might just now decide you want to use the drop down visor. Before I show you how to install the new visor, we're going to take a look at the bottom of the helmet once again. So you'll see here we do have a ratchet system instead of the traditional D-ring. Really easy to get off when you have big bulky gloves on. And then also at the top of the helmet, you're going to find this little red pull tab. You pull that out and you have your charging cord as well as the cord that you're going to use to update the software in the helmet. Um, there's going to be software updates about three to four times a year according to Quinn and then that simply tucks back up into the back of the helmet. Now in order to get the visor off of the helmet you're going to want to open it to the max open position. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this lever towards you. Then you're going to pull the visor towards you, away from you and then it snaps off. Now to put it on, you're simply going to wrap it around the back end, pull the visor towards you, push this button towards you, and then your visor is on. If you want to throw your clear or your smoke in your backpack while you're riding out for the day, it's very easy to put on and off if need be. The windscreens that Quinn Design offers are anti-fog lenses. But if you are looking to get a pin lock ready lens, they just did finish their pin lock project and those will be available on their website very, very soon. So stay tuned to their website as well as their social media if you want to get your hands on one of those. So what do I think of the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero? Well, I love it. It is an absolutely amazing helmet. I would give it a solid eight to an eight and a half out of 10. The design of this helmet is seamless. The diamond stitch interior is really comfortable and beautifully done. I like the matte finish. When it comes to the construction of the helmet, it is made extremely tight and really knit together very well. I feel really at ease, great peace of mind while I'm riding knowing that I have the ability to use that SOS beacon and have the crash detection technology behind my back. In terms of downsides of this helmet, I think the one downside of it is that it is a little bit noisier. It does vent a little bit too much wind when your vents are closed, in my opinion. I think that might be due to the slightly shorter chin curtain in comparison to like my Showy RF 1200, or potentially just maybe not the best seal um, alongside the visor. I would like to see them try to figure that out in the near future so that we can reduce wind noise at more of an upright riding position because let's face it, um, most people that are buying this helmet are probably going to be using it as a daily rider helmet as opposed to a track only uh, track focused helmet. 
But that concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my full comprehensive video review on the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero. Stay tuned for future uploads as I will be doing a future video detailing the specific tech features within this helmet. It will be a follow-up review. I will have that linked in the bio below eventually. Make sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below, give it a thumbs up, and hit the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Thanks and have a great day, Biker Bros. Ride safe out there.